Okay, guys, today's the day. You know, I've been looking forward to this, but also kind of dreading it. Um, I mentioned that I have a lot of the different machines that Sizzix and Cuddlebug and Anna Griffin and... Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. I'm not going to do my crickets today, the cricket machines, the cutting machines, because um, as far as that kind of uh, machine, these are just our mini ones, our manual ones, and then the electric ones that are all uh, die cutting machines, not just, you know, your electronic... Uh, cutting machines um and so i'm gonna start off with the little guys i guess these are the ones i have um that i probably use the most often and some that i don't use at all and then we'll work our way up to the larger machines and then the electronic machines i guess so as i was going through all my stuff i was like okay i'm gonna get a folder for them or whatever system they use and i'll get like a little die to use and we'll see if we can cut hopefully um we can get that going. Uh, I wasn't really going to try them out to cut, maybe the little ones, because these all are a little bit similar, but a little bit different. Uh, I did want to show you this one item, though. This is called a Texture Boutique. It was by Sizzix, and look how cute she is. And I think I got her, ooh, I don't know. It wasn't cheap, but it wasn't too expensive. Like, maybe 40 bucks. This one only uh, embosses. So if you have any embossing um, folders, which I guess I could have grabbed some so you know what embossing folders look like, but I have some right here. Uh... Anything like this, you know, your embossing folder will fit through there. I don't know if this one will, because, well, maybe. Yeah, I guess this one would. So 5 by 7 ish is probably as big as you can get it. And you just put your folders in there with your paper, and it has some information. It has a shim, just in case you need it. But you basically just put your paper in your folder, put these two guys together, and run it through. And if you need a shim, you have the shim there. So I just want to show you guys that, because it was kind of fun. A lot of times people think it's a cutting. It's not a cutting machine. It's just... For embossing so I mean it's cute it's a little gimmick I mean all the other machines you have do it so I don't know why you would want something just for that but that's probably why it was not very long-lived but it's a cute item okay so mini machines so I think what we've been getting caught up in you guys is the size of the opening the size of the opening doesn't matter as much as how big the folder or the plate is that goes in it because look at this I mean there's like a quarter inch on either side so your die cannot be that big because it'll be sticking out so with our diamond press um, it is a two inch just about a two inch folder okay and they have longer ones and they have these little short ones and you see how distorted this thing is it still works so I know some people say they don't really like the folder system or they've heard that the folder system isn't good this is ancient. I've used it so many times, forwards, back, this way, the other way, and it cuts just fine. I really like them. Uh, one thing I did notice about these guys, if you use your embossing um, folders in there, sometimes it warps your paper. It gets it kind of funny. So people are saying, you know, spritz it with some water a little bit, not, you know, drenched, just so it kind of loosens up the fibers, and so maybe you'll have less of that. But I don't know if it's because of the folder system that it kind of holds it tight in there so the paper doesn't have anywhere to go, but just kind of bunches. Uh, not horribly, just a little bit, okay? So I have this set of dies. I'm going to use this one just to cut it out, just to show you real quick how these cut. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on it. So again, about a two inch capacity by six inches long if you need something like that. I'm just going to take my little piece of paper, put my die face down. I'm going to put it in this completely warped folder. Oopsie. And usually I can just hold it, but since it's so warped... Um, you might want to tape it, but I'm just going to push this thing. And let me turn around so I can... And you can turn it one way or the other. If you're left-handed, right-handed, it doesn't matter. It's going to turn the same way. Like, it'll cut the same way. It's a little bit tough, and then it comes through. And as you saw, that folder was all warped and ridiculous looking. And here's my little die. It pops out just as easily. Hopefully I can get it out, because... <laughs> okay, it does have pokies. Some dies, if you notice, they're completely closed off, and you can't even poke it out because... They didn't put an area for that. Where is my pokey tool? I'll use this. So that's the diamond press. Um, if you guys saw recently, I did break the handle. I contacted them. They sent me a new handle that had a metal cog inside. So even though my handle is not completely, I can pull it out. If you want to crazy glue it in, you can do that, but I don't see the point. I just leave it. And look, I mean, it cut perfectly fine. Okay. So that's a little guy. It's about a $25 machine. It comes with a few um, dies to get you started. Uh, through HSN. You can get it on mydiamondpress.com. That's also where I contact them when I broke my uh, machine. So the other one, or the next one, I guess, would be the Sizzix Sidekick. I've had this for many, many years, and I've probably never used it. I don't know why I bought it. It was on clearance. They still make it, and now it might be like um, 
what's his name? Uh, let me open my, my window up. Uh, Tim Holtz, I think. Even Anna Griffin made one, the little gold one, but I don't remember if hers is Sizzix or Provocraft, like the Cuddlebug brand. Cuddlebug did have one like this, and it looked really cute and purple and green. They don't make it anymore. You can, maybe you can find it on eBay or something, but it's basically the same kind of little machine, right? So the sidekick. So it's just a little extra to go on the side here. So um, it does lock down this way, or supposedly it does, but maybe it goes from down up. There you go. I had had to completely lock it and it's a really good suction I mean my whole table is moving this guy when you're pressing it when you're using it it just pushes down on its own so if it happens to stick to your surface you just pull the side so I'm trying to think of all the things I know about these machines some of them like this one is very old and I don't remember but these are the plates you can still pick them up because again they still carry it just as a different style uh, it's about five inch plate but the width is two just over two and a half inches so this one cuts items that are a little bit larger and as you can see my plates are pretty much clean I don't think I've ever used them I don't even think I have refills for it it was just a two plate system and then this is what's interesting about this one you're using the sizzlets dies and I guess you can adapt it for other things but the sizzlet dies look kind of like this where it was like a foam backing but it had a piece of metal on the top and so basically I don't even know if this one is for this because they had different ones like this is a Provocraft is a Cuddlebug brand one, so I don't think it's gonna fit. Yeah But they did look something like this. They had like a plastic back and then like the foam and then it would eject your little die cut So I don't know if this one or how you would adapt it to cut thin metal dies, but let's try it. Let's try that same Thing I just think it's not gonna have enough pressure because it's used to having something much thicker Yeah, it slid right through so there's probably some kind of adapter you're gonna need for this I'm sure they have it because Hello, everybody uses these kind of dies, and this is like gone by the way of the dinosaurs. I hardly ever see these kind anymore. You can also do embossing, so there's a little embossing Sizzix, very small little embossing folder. And let me see if I can get that through here and see how that works. I'm just going to put it in the same piece of paper. Oopsie. And I'll turn it this way, the way it wants to go, I guess. So again, a little bit larger, they still sell it. You just have to do something different about that sandwich and look at that little embossing, really cute. So that's a plate system. Now, having mentioned all that, um, somebody had mentioned here that Cricut was no longer going to make or Provocraft the uh, Cuddlebug or anything to do with it. And I'm like, wait, what? I never heard about that. So yes, they announced that 2019, basically they've already phased it out. So if you need to get plates for your Cuddlebug or anything like that, you better get it now before they run out. Uh, maybe you're gonna find them on eBay. I've used the same set of plates seriously since I bought my first one So I have tons of plates <laughs> Only because I buy them sometimes when they're on sale and things like that But I didn't know that so I'm letting you guys know because I think that's crazy. They said Provocraft basically said that the Cuddlebug was Supposed to be complementary to the Cricut machines, which I don't understand how is that complementary because I guess just to do other things like embossing or maybe cut I don't know because the physics, I mean the Cricut machines cut everything you know so i don't know how, how's that complimentary to i don't know but anyway now we have the gemini mini and it is also a folder system and i've already reviewed uh this pretty in depth recently and it is uh just over three inches wide just over three inches so that's what matters like the whole opening is three and a half almost but that's not what matters what matters is what you can put in here to run it through um folder system so if you're using their uh, embossing folders that they also sell, which I've reviewed um, recently, I'll have that at the end cap. Um, with a 2D system, you're going to need this little plastic shim. So plastic shim, their embossing folder with the paper in the middle, and then you would run it through. That's the only reason you use the purple one. Otherwise, everything um, that you're going to cut, you're going to use this folder. And then if you have a 3D embossing folder that's from Crafter's Companion, um, you just use the folder and the paper, and there's no shim or anything else that you would need. Um, I, you know, that's pretty much all I know about it. Like I said, I reviewed it recently. We can just cut this guy just, you can cut again on both sides, however you want. You see how mine's kind of warped. I can turn it this way this time just to cut it in a different direction. Let's cut out this little guy. And it has suction cups that work very well. Again, you can use it with your right hand, left hand, doesn't matter if you turn it that way or turn it this opposite direction, it'll cut in the other direction or push it through another direction. And so here we are, and it cut it out perfectly fine. 
okay? And those are the thin dies. Now, everybody pretty much has thin dies. Oh, apparently, <laughs> going back to Cricut or Provocraft, they sued like five different companies saying that that's their design, basically. Um, if they have a die that the edge is so close to it that you can see through it, basically, you, you use like with your stamping dies. They said that that is their, um, what's that word? Copyright. So they sued a bunch of people. And um, some of them are already settled, and the other ones are still at court with them, because it's kind of ridiculous. Come on. So um, they're working that out right now. But who is it that settled? I was, that was surprising. It was surprising. Not Avery L. It was some other... I don't remember. You can look that up if you guys want. They have press releases and all that stuff. They just paid them and was like, fine, that's your thing. Um, but that's pretty crazy. But anyway, everyone's getting so litigious. Um, okay, so this is the Gemini Mini. Again, you heard the sizing there. So, Diamond Press is coming out with a new one. Um, it should be out in a couple of months. And um, I took, <laughs> I watched a video of theirs and I took a survey that they had emailed because I just, not because I'm anything special, just I signed up for their, you know, newsletter on their website. And, um, and then one of the questions was, would you pay $49.95 for the new one that's going to have a four and a half inch opening? I don't know if that means the plate is four and a half inches. Again, it's probably going to be a little bit smaller, right? Um, and I said, no. <laughs> that's kind of a lot of money. Um, you know, this one runs 40 or 39.99. And if you have a discount on Crafts Companion or on Home Shopping, you can get it for a little bit less. Um, so the Diamond Press will be coming out with, an, uh, like I said, a larger one uh, with the four and a half inch opening. And it sounds like they want 50 bucks for it. So keep an eye out for that. Now we all know Anna Griffin is coming out with a mini Empress, which is an electric machine. So it's not going to be a little handheld type thing or a hand uh, turned, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know how much she's going to charge for it. It comes out November 5th. So if you're watching this, you know, around that time, it's going to be on Home Shopping Network as the Today Special. I'm assuming she's going to want 100 bucks at least, right? Because the Gemini goes about the same price. Uh, I think they want 119 or so for it. So it'll probably be in that range. It is a four and a half inch opening. I don't know how big the plate is. But then people are, you know, some people are like, well, maybe a little bigger. Well, if you want a little bigger, that's basically a cuddle bug. A cuddle bug or some of these other machines we'll talk about, Big Shot, they are about a six to seven inch opening. So if you want a mini thing, it's going to be portable. It's going to be four, four and a half inches or smaller. I mean, that's just how it is, right? Otherwise, it's a, just a bigger machine. So um, those are all the ones I have that are minis, that are handheld, hand cranks, and um, very simple to use. But now what I'm going to do is put these away. Sorry, I felt a sneeze coming in. I knew it was coming. So I'm going to put these away, and I'm going to bring out the cuddle bug ones, like that type of nice uh, big shot cuddle bug. And I think I have an Epic 6. Those are all, I think that's all I have that are die cutting manual machines. And I'll be right back. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was all done. Moving along, editing, and I remembered one more thing. One more, one more. And it's kind of, I should have remembered it when I was mentioning the, um, the Epic 6 because it has to do with that being that We Are Memory Keepers kind of bought that. Um, design. I have this whole thing right here. I totally forgot about the mini evolution. So I will splice this in when it where it belongs with the information about mini handheld machines. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put this on the floor. Hold on. This is not gonna come out. Oh, what's up with this? I have some... Oh, I know what happened. I took this little guy with me uh, on vacation, so I had a cutting machine. Oops, sorry. And so I put other inks and things in there. So there's this guy. And see, this is what I want to show you. So the Epic 6 is kind of similar. The one that they're making now with We Are Memory Keepers, even though it looks like the Epic 6 machine, it closes up like this, the little panels. And this one kind of has that look to it. So basically the evolution, that's what it's called. Duh. And again, you can crank it either way. It has a lock. Lock it down. And that... It's not that great. <laughs> I was going to say, that's pretty good, but no, let's try it again. Okay, that's better. Okay, so that's suction down there. Um, oh, goodness me. Let me find the plates. I have them in here. They're all organized, and of course, I'm like, where are the plates? Um, well, it's organized for once, so... Uh, so this one does have embossing abilities, of course, cutting capabilities. It has a B, E, and a C plate, and it looks like... These are different thicknesses, the B and the E, even though they're both clear plates. The size that this will cut is three inches. It's just exactly three inches. 
uh, by six and a half, almost six and a half, just shy of six and a half. Um, and I had bought this on HSN when they had a good, you know, deal. It was probably today special. I think I even got the extra, like, 20% off on it. Um, they have lots of things that they are putting together. We are member keepers for this little guy. And some of it has to do with things like, like these. And I reviewed this completely by itself. I'll have a link to that too at the end of the video. Um, where you can cut it. It's basically a two-in-one cut and emboss at the same time. So it cuts areas. And these will go in there. Basically, I think they're on their own. I don't really remember the sandwich yet. But of course, the paperwork comes along with it for the sandwich. Um, it worked just fine. I think I do remember when I was running it through, it kind of wanted to go crooked a little bit. And it kind of messed up the side of one of my folders. That's the only complaint I have about that. Other than that, I remember it being okay. I mean, it's not... It's just like any other little handheld machine. It is a little bit heavier than some of them, but cute. I like the coloring. Um, again, they have a lot of fun little things that go along with it, but you can always just use your regular dies, your thin metal dies with that or any kind of embossing folder that might fit. I, I'm not a huge fan of using embossing folders in machines that aren't that same brand because I don't really know how thick, like the 3D embossing folders from, you know, Crafters Companion. Are they really that much thicker than the 2D? Apparently they are, so it might be something where it's going to get stuck or hurt your machine, so I'd rather not do that. But if you have done that, let me know. Let us all know in the comments, like, oh yeah, I use my, you know, I don't know what, <laughs> Gemini Mini embossing folders in uh, the Sizzix Sidekick or in this, and this is the plate I use or the sandwich. Um, just so people have an idea, because I know somebody asked if the foil press, she asked me recently, so I will mention it here because that way we can help each other out. Does the foil press plate... Ah, plate. There you go. I kept calling it. I don't know what I was calling it. Um, go through the Anna Griffin Empress. And I told her, I don't know. But since they're both kind of expensive, I'm not going to try it. <laughs> like, I'm not going to try to shove it in there and see what happens. But if you guys have tried it, let us know. That way she might, you know, go through the comments and figure that out or find that out on her own. Um, if you guys have tried it, you gutsy people, let me know because I am, like, not going to even know... I can't even think about doing that. But okay, let's move on to the next types of machines. So, this machine is called the Epic 6. Now, I think when this came out, it was made by another company that ended up being Lifestyle Crafts. And then Lifestyle Crafts, I don't know what happened to that company. But they would really use it for... Um, oh, what's that called? Like screen... Not screen printing. Like printing press type things. Oh, I forget what it's called. But anyway, these little stamps but they weren't stamps they were hard and you would put them on here and then you'd run it through with some you know brayer on the um ink and then you'd run it through and um i always forget the name of that type of thing but i don't know what happened to this but it ended up like we are memory keepers i think bought out the design because they started making a machine that looked just like this exactly the same weird platforms and all so it's still out there if you guys are interested in that but this is, again is a larger opening it's a heavy thing you know i gotta just carry this around and it's like a six six inch just over six inch opening but um the platform is six inches across and then super long so they this is just how they came i i, I have never even looked at it. i still have the wrap the paper that you know kind of helped it out so this is one of the mats that comes with it it's just in case you need that extra shim uh this is the cutting platform which is interesting because i always thought this is just plastic but it's not it has like a weird glass i don't know if you can see that on the very top kind of shiny so you cut into that. It's basically plastic, but um, so you run your things through. And I think this piece goes on top of that to keep your die down, whatever it is that you're going to cut. And then there's an embossing or cutting platform just in case you have something that's a little bit thicker that needs to go through. Um, this one's a little bit smaller in profile than this one. So that's that machine. I'm not going to say too much about it because it's an odd machine. They sell it like at um, Aaron Brothers for some reason. <laughs> that's where I got mine on super clearance, but they still have a lot of the things that go along with it for that uh, printing. That kind of press type thing. Okay, Cuddlebug. Everyone knows Cuddlebug, and like I just said, they are not going to make it anymore. They're not going to support it anymore. And Cricut did that before when they got me for that. Um, oh, the Cricut Imagine. I totally forgot I had that machine. I sold it um, for like a hundred bucks last year, which I probably should have sold it for even less. Because to be honest, you can't even get mats for it. But I still had mats and um, some of the printer cartridges so I sold it like as a whole bundle with everything I had for it and here you go so when Cricut decided they weren't going to make that anymore people who bought it they let you have the whole compendium of Imagine cartridges for free so you just had to call them and let them know what your serial number was and then they allowed you to use it in their craft room so that was nice of them I guess because you can cut those things on other items you just can't print them anymore if you don't have the printer ink for it but um really weird 
So this is the cuddle bug. I have the green one that they sent me for free one time. I don't know why. I had bought a Cricut cake machine at Joann's and it didn't have the uh, mats. So I contacted Provo Craft or you know, Cricut and was like, hey. Um, so they sent me the mats, right? It's supposed to come with like a pack of one or two mats or whatever it was. And then like two days later, I got a free cuddle bug, the green one. I have it sitting over there. And I had the original one, but I sold that one too on offer up. I sell things on offer up all the time if it's something heavy or big. Um, anyway, so that one's gone. But I thought that was kind of weird. I'm like, oh, well, thank you. So <laughs> I didn't ask for that. I didn't even complain really. I was just like, hey, I just got this and they were missing. But anyway, so they sent me a free cuddle bug, which was nice. Again, they're not going to make this anymore, but usually you open it up like this, you pull out your little handle, and then everyone knows the plate system that we're all very familiar with now. We have the plates. They have extended cutting plates. They have even further extended cutting plates where they're like, you know, maybe a foot long, but then I have some for quilting or to make like dolls that's almost two feet long, and they're really annoying to store. I have them put over, way over here. And so now I'm just going to have that, and hopefully it'll be good forever because we're never going to find them again. So you have your A plate. You're usually two B plates. There's a C plate that I did not bring out. And then there's a rubber embossing mat. There's metal shims. There's other things you can put all these plates together with. Um, this is my go-to. Like, I love my cuddle bug. If I'm just cutting out something, a card base or whatever that will fit in here, this is literally my go-to. As far as the little machines, I know you guys said you want to know what my favorites are or rank them. Ugh. I love that I'm impressed. It was kind of a bummer that I broke, but they stood behind their thing. And, and even the one that I broke was really kind of old, so... Um, I was glad that they sent me the new handle, uh, for free, of course, they just sent it. Um, so my diamond press, I love it. I'm starting to really like the Gemini Mini because it is a little bit larger size, so I'm probably going to skip on the diamond press, the larger one when it comes out, but I guess it depends on the price, too. I don't know. I, we don't need all those machines, right? Uh, I am going to try out the M-Press, though, I think, the Mini, because <laughs> I want to try it, but, um, this is my go-to, you know, handheld, hand crank, medium-sized machine. So everyone, I mean, we're really familiar with these guys. They cut thin dies, they cut, or they emboss. You know, there's a gamut of different things you can run through here. Um, I will bring out, actually one thing I forgot after, before I move on to the electronic machines, which are basically my Anna Griffin Impress and everything Gemini. Um, I have the original Sizzix and I'll show that to you guys because this also cuts those size dies. And what I mean by those size, let me grab the, I have so much stuff right here. I'm going to grab this one. <laughs> Only because it's on top. And this is when I was telling you guys that I have a really, really long die. And so you have to have the cutting plates for it. Look at that. So those machines, like Cuddlebug, will still cut these big, thick gut dies, right? I have tons of the original ones of these where they were red on the outside. I think they were Sizzix brand. But these thick things, you have to have a machine that's going to be able to accept it. So that's something like that. So I guess those are all just going to go by the wayside. I mean, I haven't heard from Sizzix. So I'm assuming they're going to keep making their big shot, but we will see. So let me put this to the side and grab the big shot. Now, people recently asked me about this or they tell me what kind of sandwich or they asked me what they should use on the big shot. I have no idea. I bought this for like 50 bucks at an expo and I was like, that's a great deal. And I never ever used it. So I still have like the basic plate sandwich thing that they hardly ever sell anymore. I don't believe people really use this anymore, but you're supposed to open it up certain ways and that's how you use it to cut things. I have no idea how to use this and never have, as you can see. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But apparently I did buy a second set of plates for it because now they have plates more just like the Cricut, you know, the cuddle bug. It's just your basic plate sandwich. Apparently I've used it once or twice. I have a premium crease pad. I don't know for what, but here it is, just this black pad. Oh, maybe I can use that for something else. And then it has a little shim in there with it. So this is the kind of cutting system it is. Again, you can run those big, thick um, dies through the one I just showed you, the foam dies, those big, big ones. And um, I kept my instructions. I don't know anything about this machine. <laughs> I, I couldn't even, I don't know. It's so cute though. So it's kind of funny. People asked me recently, I said, you know what? I've been looking for it. Like since I moved here, since before, like I've been looking for this thing. I've moved here about a year ago. Can't find it. So we finally went through my whole garage and um, it was in the last box I opened. There were like eight boxes left just last couple weeks ago and at the very bottom of the box. So I'm like, there it is. Awesome. So um, I don't use it very much. This is what it looks like. Again, just a hand crank system. You just run it through. 
crank it through and there you go it is simpler now without this weird multi-purpose platform i never cared for i think that's probably what kept me from using it more but a lot of people love this one they say it has more pressure than your cuddle bug um so the cuddle bug every once in a while yeah it does disappoint me like in the middle it might not cut out if it's a really intricate die so then you have to shim it up or do something different but normally it does what i want so if you guys really like this, tell me what you do, how you use it, and I will try to use it more because it takes up a lot of space, and if I'm going to keep it, I need to use it. Otherwise, she used to go. That doesn't fold up or anything, right? It's just that big. So it's a big machine. <laughs> Again, like I just mentioned, doesn't fold up or anything. So there it is. Let me grab my Sizzix, my old school one, and then I will move on to the electric machine. Okay, showing you guys this is just for fun. No one's going to go out and buy one of these machines right now. I think I even looked on eBay just to see, like... The thing weighs like 30 pounds, so, you know, shipping's already however much, and it's ridiculous. But anyway, this is what it looked like. You open it up. Oh my gosh, so tight. I can't, I don't even know. Um, this is the cutting plate for it. Again, those big, thick dies, right? The ones that are like foam dies. Um, and all you did, it was so weird. You would put this down, let's say. I guess it went this way. I don't even know. Your, uh, or did it come in the other way? Let me see what this says. I haven't used it in so long. Yeah, yeah. It goes that way. And then your piece of paper and then the die on top. And all this basically did is put a bunch of pressure into it so you cut it on your own. So you're pushing it through. This thing should be lifted all the way up. I don't know why it's not. There it goes. You lift it up like this, right? Put your thing, your paper your die facing down so it can crunch it and then you'd move it in here and just by sheer force you would pull this down and it would push it into your paper and if it was a bigger die you'd lift it back up move it a little more <laughs> do it again <laughs> until you know if it was a really big die you're all the way out and then you just keep doing that and that's it it was just pure pressure that would push it in basically push your um the die cutting edge into your little areas here and that's it but i just think it's funny because i bought this thing when i was in my 20s it was like over a hundred dollars these die sets were like a hundred dollars <laughs> and um and i only have very few of them because of that but all those other dies that we have those thick foam dies that you know tim holt still makes and all these other people still make you can still run them through there okay i have to think about how i want to do this gemini one i think i'm going to take you guys by hand sorry because they're all over the place and I don't really want to move them around. But let me grab my Empress and then we'll do the Geminis where they are in my craft okay, room. I already have a video also comparing the Empress with the Gemini Junior and the Gemini, the regular machine, the large one. So I'll include that at the end of the video too because I'm not going to go into too much. People just kind of want to see what I have and what I think of them. Of course, it's beautiful. I love Anna Griffin's gold and kind of cream colors. I did buy her Cricut. My Cricut Explore Air is also the Anna Griffin one, so it's really pretty. It's put away in the closet. I don't even look at it. I think I used it one time to do a review, like when I first got it, and then I never used it again. Because I love the basic Cricut, my expressions, that old machine, not the first iteration, but the second one. And I just love her, so I, that's the one I use if I ever even use my Cricut anymore. But So we have this guy. The opening, again, I'm not even going to measure the opening. Well, I will, just because people are curious, is just over 9 inches. But she has her plate system, of course. The plate system consists of two cutting plates, which are two, like, A plates. There's a rubber embossing mat, there's a metal shim, and there's the magnetic mat that apparently you can cut into and or just use it to hold your die, right? Um, and it seems like you have to use magnetic shim almost every time unless you're, you know, doing an embossing folder or something like that. So, of course, any embossing folders, you're going to have to learn the sandwiches. But it's all in her uh, little paperwork there. The plates themselves are six and a half inches by eight and a half, roughly. So six and a half by eight and a half. That comes with the machine. And then you can buy extended cutting plates that are much bigger. So if you need to know how big these are, and these come in a set. I'm assuming you can buy one at a time. I don't know. It's bigger than 12 inches because it's a 12 inch ruler and it's bigger than that. And it is, uh, I think, 10, well, the same right, all right, because that's to go through the machine. So it's about eight and a half inches wide. So these plates can go in this way, in this direction, the long ways, or the fat way, if you want to do it quicker so it pops out faster. It doesn't have to travel through the length of this. It can just go through the width. Um, so you have those two options on that guy. Um, she's quiet. She has a nice handle, a nice sleek design. I like that. I like the way it's just kind of chill. It's heavy, of course, because it has that weight behind it. 
she uh, that's what I think my favorite thing about her is that she's pretty quiet but you do have to okay you turn it on and when you go to use it, you have to press run and put the thing at the same time I don't know it, it has to expect that it's gonna come in so I don't really care for like the Gemini Junior or your Gemini machines they're ready to go if I put the plate in there it'll start going because it knows the plates there it has like a sensor this one does not know and then you have a reverse so those are my only little pet peeves about that she cuts like a dream I love her um, they have new um, magnetic plates I do not like this one I talk about that all the time because I just it just starts coming apart like I can see where I don't know I don't know why they put this white coating on it so now they have a black one magnetic mat that shouldn't do that anymore um, so I will be picking one of those up it's kind of like a self-healing mat but it's also magnetic so that makes sense I don't know why you would cut into this beautiful white lacquer feeling material but she does so I don't know it starts coming apart now let me like I said do a little <laughs> orientation here find well, you know think about what I want to say about these Gemini's and then we'll, we'll uh, see those Okay, we're going to talk about the Gemini Jun Go um, while she's here in front of me because I usually keep her up on the side, but I can port her, I like, can move her around pretty easy. Um, cute little machine. It has kind of too much pressure. I did a whole review on this one. I'll also include it at the end cap, was, you know, at the end, very end of the video, there's like different things you want to click on, possibly. I will include that because funniest thing you guys oh it was so funny all together we um this is a different set of <laughs> mats because i ran it through and with a die and it completely cut through the embossing mat like ripped right through it didn't I, I don't know what happened and then everyone's like oh that's what i heard happened with that they're supposed to fix it but they haven't done anything about it yet it's like what so it wasn't even a tight sandwich it was literally the embossing mat and then the two cutting plates and the die and the paper and it cut right through the embossing uh, mat, but I mean the die I used I think was one of those thicker dies that supposedly cuts through like chipboard, but people said that doesn't matter it, even a thin die, a very thin die instead of being a little bit thicker will also rip right through <laughs> the, the um, mat, so there's that so maybe the embossing isn't that great on this but the plate is just over 3 inches, just a little bit over 3 inches, like 3 and a 16th and it's about 6 and a quarter long so again, the opening is probably bigger. Yeah, it's almost four inches wide, but it's not because <laughs> you're cutting on these. So this is what the dimensions are. So I like it. It's a cute machine. I haven't used it since I reviewed it because I have other things in front of me that I can just easily use. Um, so I might make some room for this guy, like if I move around some of these things that I have here. Um, but for right now, I kind of have it. So whenever I cut things, my Gemini Junior is right in front of me. I throw it through there. I have all my glues and other things I always reach for and my plate here, my... Uh, glass mat so you know I don't really have a lot of room for it right now but um, expense I think it's like 119 usually 100 bucks or so it might come with a bundle especially on Crafters Companion if you have an extra discount that'd be great and that's usually by using Club Inspire Home Shopping Network every once in a while has 20% off coupons but you have to have their credit card for them or $20 off of 99 they're always running those specials um, so there's different ways to get you know a little bit of money knocked off of them but you know it's really also meant for the thin metal dies. Um, you can also put your uh, embossing um, folders through it if they are small enough, right? So now that they have that mini, they're, the Gemini Mini, they've been making a lot more of those kind of things to work with. Basically both of them. Uh, somebody asked that if the Go plates and dies and things would, not the plates, but the dies and like the embossing uh, folders yeah they'll fit through the other guy too I believe I think I said they're about they're basically the same size but so there's that Gemini Jr. behind here I have my little wipes sitting here again cutting plate system uh, let me get the plates they have um, two cutting plates which are these clear ones that has a magnetic mat I'll talk about that in a second a white shim which apparently I cut into I didn't mean to Ooh, when did that happen Maybe it was just, no, I think I didn't cut into it. I think it just pushed back on it. So this one, you don't cut on it. And then a rubber mat. Uh, some of the machines had a black one, but now they have a cute purple one. And these are these guys. So the reason I don't care for this is this. I don't know. It used to just be a black mat. Now they did a white magnetic mat. And look how, and that's not even cutting into it. I never have cut into this, like put the um, cutting edge in, you know, facing this. It's just the pressure in there and it'll push into this and it started cutting it. 
So this thing, even though it's kind of destroyed, I mean, it still works, but it's just, why? So now whenever I use this, oh, where's my metal one? It also has a metal sheet, sorry. So now whenever I use this guy, I use him, I put the metal sheet over it so that whatever is being held down isn't going to cut through into my magnetic mat. And it's still, well, most of the time it still holds it <laughs> like a magnet, but actually this probably is some cheap dye that doesn't even, it's not even magnetized, I have a feeling. Let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, it is. It's just on the wrong side. All right. So anyway, anyway, it's just not working quite well. This one's, I don't know what's up with this die. But anyway, so I always keep a space between the magnetic mat and any die that I use. And you can cut into the metal shim if you want, or you can just use it to give you some space. Um, so the size of these guys are six inches by almost nine and I really do like my junior obviously I use the most it's sitting right in front of me the impress I use whenever I do a review and maybe I have Anna Griffin dies or whatever that I want to use on it um, but I don't have to I can just still run it through the junior one thing I don't like about this and I was watching an old video the other day because sometimes I'll go back on HSN videos and this is how I remember some people are asking me they're like how do you how do you know what's going to come up in the auto ship or I already forgot what's going to be in the auto ship for whatever item you might have bought I literally go to, to youtube.com, obviously, <laughs> and I type in Crafter's Companion floral stamps, whatever it might have been called, a similar name, and it always pulls up, and then you can watch the video again from when they had aired it the first time, and then you, there you can see all the auto ships or whatever it is that you had missed or forgot about, and then that helps you make up your mind, like if you want to skip some of the auto ships, I go back to HSN and say, okay, I didn't want the second one, I don't want the third one, you know, just skip it, and you already have it set up. So I do that often. Since I did that the other day, a lady had called and I never watched the video. I'm like, oh, that's too funny. And the lady was saying, why don't you have extended cutting plates for the junior? Because look how small this is. If they make anything bigger than this, which they do, um, they just came out with a whole new uh, thing with their celebration right now um, that are really long. You have to have the Gemini, the big machine that costs 200 bucks, right? This one's like 150, 160. It depends on the bundle or what they're doing that day. So 120, 160-ish, and then the other one's 200. Um... And, and she says, oh, you know, that's a great idea. I'll talk to my engineers and blah, 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 all this stuff. Because, yeah, oh, yeah, we'll definitely look into it. And this was a while ago, and they have not looked into it. I think they need to. That I don't see why not. I like, Literally, what would hurt them to make it a little bit longer, you know, right? So it can accommodate some of these longer dies. But, um, you know, that's... I, it's their business, not mine. I don't know. <laughs> so there's that. Of course, with this new one, also with the Gemini Junior, you have plates that you can purchase for the double-sided dies that they put out, which I think are kind of a bit of a dud. I don't know. They're, you saw I have a review for the double-sided like floral dies. I have a review for the double-sided um, box dies. I did return the mega set that I had ordered because it was just like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I think about them. But I do like the square one. I do like the rectangular box dies. They're small. They're thin. Like if you make a card that's a little bit thick or chunky, you can put it in there and it'd be a really cute way to present it. So those I do like. And it's easy to just run it through instead of doing all the box measurements yourself. But hey, it's not that hard to do box measurements yourself, right? With a um, scoring tool or even Crafters Companion Ultimate, which I've had a bunch of reviews on recently. But these guys, they do make it for the Junior. They don't make, well, they just came out with the ones for the, I, was, I take that back. They just came out with ones for the Large Gemini because they made those box dies that are kind of bigger, some of them. So some of them do fit into the Junior and some of them have to go with the larger one. So these are carbon fiber plates. Supposedly they're indestructible. Now, Last one to show you guys, and I will get over there. Oh, how am I going to remove this? I'll just remove it and hopefully don't make you guys dizzy. Um, oh, is that crooked? Sorry. It looked straight, but maybe I moved it while I was... Oh, it's a lady yesterday left me a very nice message about uh, my videos that I have too many personal issues. I talk about too many personal issues and other things, and that I should be prepared when, I'm, when I film to, I guess, just stay on the subject and never talk about my life, even though my channel was never, has never been about that. Even when I had 8,000 subscribers, it's never been about that. So on this new channel, nothing's going to change. Oh, look at that. Frida. See? I should stay on it, right, Linda? No, I'm just kidding. I think her name was Linda. So anyway, um, Frida Kahlo, I love that painting, so I had to put that in there. Oh, and Diego was a little baby with my mom there. Um, okay, so over here I keep these guys. I don't really keep with stuff on top. I just move that stuff to get to the, uh... Um, big shot. Okay, well, I'm putting a shadow here. Let me go this way. 
Um, this is the foil press, and you guys know I bought a new um, mat or whatever you want to call this. I guess tray. I don't. I don't know what they call this one. Oh, it's a little dusty because I haven't used it in a while. But um, as you can see, maybe you can. See, can you tell this one's getting kind of warped? Let me lay it back down flat here. So uh, I had used this one time to review the floral foam from Crafters Companion, and you know, it's fine. It was just on and I had left it on. And I've heard Sarah talking about like, if you leave it on for a long time for extended periods, it can start warping like this. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't hurt it because the heat doesn't come from this surface. The heat is inside of this, right? The heating elements. So even though it's warped, it's not going to hurt it. It'll still work. Um, but it's kind of a bummer. So I did buy another one when they had buy one, get one half price, their whole site or whatever. So I think they sell the new one for 60 bucks and it comes with, again, the little carbon fiber plate that goes on this. And one other thing I don't remember. Um, but you can buy a new foil press, these guys, if you need it. The foil press itself is about $100. Again, depending on if you have like a, a deal. So this really goes to the Gemini Junior. I love their foil press. It's amazing. I'm going to use it more. I need to. I, you know, I love that the price of the foil isn't even that expensive. They're usually just a couple bucks and they're always on sale. So if I a couple bucks, I think they normally want like four or five dollars for a roll. The roll is really long. You can use, you know, you just use it up and it's great. Um, but they do sell a, a plate that if you only have, let's say you only have the Gemini because, you know, you bought it and you're happy with that and that's what you have. You don't need all these other little guys. Um, they do have a sensor plate that you're going to have to put on top of this. So once you pull this out, there's going to be this other plate that you put here so that when you enter it into your Gemini, it recognizes that something's coming in. Remember I told you there's a sensor there. So it, it activates sensors and it'll go through. Ooh. So if you have a Gemini, don't fear, you don't have to have a Gemini Junior for this to work. And I hope that cord right there is for this guy. All the cords from Gemini... Uh, tools or machines look the same, but guess what? They don't actually work the same. I've tried that. I'm like, oh, I'll just leave one plugged in and I'll just switch it out the back, you know, plug it in when I use it. Um, it won't. So just make sure not to <laughs> cross them over, but I'm pretty sure this is the one for the foil press. And then we have our Gemini, big boy, big plates. I don't even know where the plates are. Where are the plates? <gasps> you know what? I don't think I've ever used the large plates because um, when I had bought it, she had mentioned that, you know, you can use the junior plates in it. And I'm like, oh, I'll just use the junior plates because why am I going to use up those big Gemini plates, right? So the junior plates, the ones I already measured, I just told you guys about, fit in here. They fit in here going this direction or even sideways. Big machine. Let me see. Oh, gosh. I'm going to put you guys down to look at my Gemini up close and personal for a second. Sorry. Um, let me grab the plates real quick. I know where they are. I just haven't used them. Man, what's wrong with me? Why am I not ready? I'm never ready, you guys. Okay, let's put this up here. And you guys know I don't like talking stuff. I just, it's like, come on, dude. This is my channel. I can do what I like. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, sometimes you get off subject. Yeah, I do. I do that all the time. Um, this is nothing new to YouTube. That's just how I am. Uh, let's see here. So they're 9 by 12 and a half. Well, I don't have to measure it. It says right there. So that's also a very nice size, you know. So again, it's up to you. I mean, I do like that with the Empress, you can buy larger plates and you don't have to buy a new machine. With this one, if you want the big, you know, you have to basically go with the bigger machine. Again, it's just the same plate system. It has the metal shim, the magnetic shim, your rubber mat, the white plastic shim, and the two cutting plates. So, I don't know if I have a super favorite big guy because, like I said, um, oh, look at this little pictures and my little babies um and some family members there uh i don't know i like like i said i have the gemini junior in front of me i think i use it the most they are a little bit louder uh, but like i said i already have a review comparison video of those so i don't really feel like going too far in depth on that but you can check those out thanks for watching for letting me vent for a little second i will <laughs> try and be ready <laughs> Just joking. Um, if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, especially for the big shot, I would love to hear them because that's one thing I'm like, I just, I'm not very good at using that one. Um, but thanks for watching. I know it was going to be a long one and I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anything. I'll probably find some little random machine that I had bought somewhere, some time, some, I don't know, probably still in the garage. But um, <laughs> I thank you guys very much and I hope that was a little bit helpful. 
as far as helping you think about what you want to do. Again, Cuddlebug is gone, so I wouldn't, if you invest in one, you buy it on eBay or you get it for a super clearance price, I would say that's great, but maybe get a couple sets of cutting plates because you literally will never, I haven't, I, I mean, I've used it a ton, my plates, and they've been just fine, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.